Gun laws and how they differ state to state came into focus at a time like this. Our team coverage turns to Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey, who joins us live in studio after getting answers. Olivia, how do gun laws compare in Massachusetts and Maine? Chris and Abby, Maine is a constitutional carry state, and as of 2015, people over the age of 21, with limited exceptions, can have a gun without a permit. Massachusetts has much stricter gun laws, with the House of Representatives passing sweeping gun reform legislation just last week. My heart goes out to the victims and their families uh, and the loss of life, the senseless loss of life. Uh, in Maine. State Representative Carlos Gonzalez reacting to the deadly mass shootings in Maine Wednesday night. This comes at a time when conversations about gun control and reform legislation are happening across the nation. Western Mass News is taking a deeper look at current gun laws in Massachusetts and how they compare in Maine. We could tell you in Maine, anyone over the age of 21 who is not prohibited from possessing a gun can carry a firearm without a permit or background check. The age is lowered to 18 for anyone on active duty or honorably discharged members of the U.S. Armed Forces or National Guard. Massachusetts has stricter policies, where Police Chief Sean Crevier explains. You have to take a um, firearms class first, and then you bring that certification with you to your local police department, and then you apply after filling out a uh, packet of paperwork about your uh, credentials, uh, history, and so forth. It's important to note in recent years, a yellow flag law was enacted in Maine designed to seize guns from people viewed as threats. This is different from the red flag law in Massachusetts, which allows family members or police to petition to have a person's gun license suspended if they pose a risk of harming themselves or others. The tragedy comes a week after the State House of Representatives voted to enhance Massachusetts's already strict gun laws. However, Chief Crevier feels the state has established that the current laws work and instead criminals and repeat offenders need to be held accountable and offered resources for mental health and education. If they continue to push these new gun laws like they want with this uh, that new bill that was just passed by the House, it's going to cause someone or some organization to file a court case. And uh, I'm afraid that the SJC might rule against the state of Massachusetts and thus making the uh, state of Massachusetts a constitutional carry state. But Williams says they have a responsibility to the people of Springfield and the rest of the state. I have 27 murders in Springfield, more than Boston, and I'm damn sure going to put gun, new gun laws and stronger gun laws. We have some of the strongest gun laws in the country. But when you lose one, one person, it's not enough. Western Mass News has also reached out to the Gun Owners Action League of Massachusetts in the wake of the main shootings. In a statement they tell us in part, goal is calling on federal, state, and local officials to end their crusades against the lawful Second Amendment community and seriously address the matter at hand, severe mental health. Reporting live in studio, Olivia Hickey for Western Mass News.